Five items to avoid buying at the grocery store. Let's discuss. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Coffee Rant with Dano. Tonight, we are discussing five items to avoid buying at the grocery stores right now. These are items that we are avoiding and items that we just kind of wanted to talk about, explain kind of why we are avoiding these products and just go over some of these. Number one, conventionally grown strawberries. We are avoiding conventional strawberries because of the heavy amounts of pesticides that have been being found in them. Plus, not just that, uh, it's been a, it's been a, you know, back toward the beginning of February. You know, we were getting strawberries on a regular basis. We always wash our fruits and vegetables, no matter what or where they are. Even if, even if it's organic, we still wash all of our vegetables. But we noticed that they were, they weren't good. They, they were tasteless. It was like these were strawberries that just weren't really any good. That is why it made number one on this list tonight. Um, been a lot of issues with strawberries lately with heavy pesticides. Uh, I'm not opposed to buying organic strawberries right now, but we're just taking a break. Taking a break from strawberries. It's been all over the news lately. Just taking a break from them. Might be something you may want to consider not buying as well. Number two on this list, and this is for many reasons for us, but number one uh, being... it's. Well, number two on the list, pop and soda. Pop, whatever you like to call it. Pop, soda pop. If you're in Texas, everything is Coke, I guess. Coca-Cola. <laughs> um, but this is something, we have stopped drinking pop for years now. Uh, a couple years ago, Jessica had some really bad kidney stones. That has prompted her to stop drinking pop altogether. Uh, and she has not had a pop since. And I'll tell you what, I, I applaud her for that. Um, every now and then I'll have a root beer or something. But the reason why we should stop buying pop in the stores is because it has gotten ridiculously expensive. And it keeps going up in price. Uh, the regular prices that I've seen at Kroger so far have been between $8.99 and $9.99 a 12-pack. $14.99 for a case of Pepsi. That's 24 pops for $14.99 regular price. Even the best sale that I've seen lately has been where you have to buy three of them to get them for $7.99. It's just way too expensive. Way too expensive. I mean, pop is more expensive than beer. I mean, it seems that way anyway. I it just it's it's ridiculous. I mean, soda pop has gotten so expensive, um, and I know that's why a lot of our viewers have quit drinking it. Uh, I always try to point out the deals when we go to the store and stuff like that, just in case you know if you, if you're if you're buying pop, you know you want to make sure that you get the best deal out there, which is why we still point it out when we go to the store. Uh, but I have since quit drinking pop as well, and then when I go and I see these prices in the store, I remember why. And it is just, it is so ridiculous. Pop has gone up so much just over the last year or two. I mean, it's it's pretty, pretty crazy. And I can't see paying those kind of prices for pop for stuff that is very unhealthy for me anyway. It's a, I mean, I guess I could really thank them for going up so high in price because I've completely quit drinking pop. Like I said, I'll have a root beer every now and then or like a 7-Up Zero or something like that. But as far as paying these crazy prices for it, Never going to happen. Number three on our list has been Cheerios and Quaker Oats. There's been, it's been in the news a lot lately. We've been covering this a lot as far as the different Chlormaquat, uh, which is a, a, a chemical that is uh, created overseas to, to help the yield of the oats and everything, help the different yields of these products. Uh, and it's not good. It's not good. And it's been found in a lot of... It's been found of a lot in a lot of tested products of Cheerios and Quaker Oats. Um, I tried to look up to see if it's in a lot of store brands. Haven't really found anything. Uh, we usually get the Kroger brand oats, and if it's oatmeal, we get the Kroger brand as well. Uh, we have had Aldi brand. Aldi has been, uh, in my opinion, just as good, and I'm saving a lot of money anyway because Quaker's been another product that has kind of sat still lately because of all the... Let's not forget, they also had a recall for salmonella as well in their, like, granola bars, different granola cereals. There's been a lot of issues with Quaker lately, um, you know, and we're just staying away 
from that product altogether. Altogether. Just not, not dealing with Cheerios. We never really ate much Cheerios anyway or any real General Mills products. But the fact that this is being allowed to happen, is, Chlormaquat is a chemical that is not even allowed in the U.S. It's not even allowed to be used in the U.S. It's, it can be used outside the U.S., and then we can bring the products back in here, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. But that is another story. Uh, let me know down in the comments your thoughts on that. Okay, number four here. This is an issue that was a while back, a few months ago, when we started seeing the salmonella uh, cantaloupe uh, scare, where it was all over the country, all over the country, even Canada, uh, different cantaloupes that were uh, being imported uh, we're, we're testing for salmonella. There were a lot of people getting sick from this. Uh, it has since quieted down. I haven't seen any new reports on this. And one thing that was also an issue, and it's kind of always been an issue, is pre-sliced fruits. If you go to the grocery store and you have pre-sliced fruits, um, you have a good chance of like cross-contamination of things. You know, it's uh, these things have been known to have certain things in them and it's like people I feel like get these I've always been a little weary about them but I'm, I'm even more weary now because there was they were actually telling people a few months ago to not buy uh sliced fruits like in the plastic containers you go to Walmart you go to Kroger you go to Publix you know they have all the different sliced fruits most of those are even coming in outside right they're not doing that in-house some stores might but most stores don't uh, and there's just been too many reports of things like with salmonella and stuff like that over the years. I'm just like, you know what I can, and it's cheaper anyway to buy the fruit that I want. I know I'm washing it. I know who's cutting it. You know, there's a lot of dirty things going on with listeria, salmonella. Now we have the E. coli, the E. coli, uh, in some of the beef that we've been, you know, that we went over with the, the, the Omaha company. And, and, and that seems like that's starting to grow through other companies as well. So we're just taking a break. Well, not a break. I will never buy pre-sliced fruits again. I will cut my own. I will wash my own. And that's just how it's going to be. That's how it's going to be. Take a sip of coffee. Uh, tonight we are drinking Dunkin'. Dunkin' coffee. Okay, number five, you guys probably already guessed it if you've been on the channel for a long time. Also, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. We do these videos every day to help keep you in the know of everything going on. Uh, number five, ground cinnamon. We're not buying cinnamon for a while. As a matter of fact, we're just taking a break from cinnamon altogether with the high levels of lead that have been found in a different cinnamon that we have bought over the years through like Dollar Tree, the Supreme Tradition Dollar Tree. That was one that we all, always got uh, that has actually been on recall lately because of the high levels of cinnamon. This has been an ongoing investigation by the FDA and many other groups for months. And it's like, what is taking so long? This feels like it is just dragging out so much. This all started with uh, cinnamon applesauce packets. I mean, high levels of lead, very high levels of lead, and especially items that are targeted for children. You know, I just, I can't, I can't support that. Um, but also we're not going to be buying any cinnamon for a while. And I know people have been saying organic cinnamon and everything is fine. There's uh, very low levels of lead because there's a, there's a very minute uh, levels of lead in, in pretty much all cinnamon. Maybe not all cinnamon, but most. There's the way it is grown, how how it how it draws in. Apparently, I'm not a scientist. I am not a a biologist by any means, but I do know or a botanist. Um, but we are just taking a break from cinnamon until this kind of all blows over. And even at that, we're not going to be buying ground. I did put ground cinnamon because I do feel like during this and while this is going on and maybe beyond, we're going to be grinding up our own cinnamon. Jessica loves cinnamon, so we are going to be grinding up our own cinnamon. It'll be something fun for us to do. We're kind of trying some new things. We kind of got to get creative with a lot of things these days, guys, because this stuff, the recalls, everything, it is just getting ridiculous. I wanted to put together our top five things right now that we are not buying at the grocery store. And one thing I, want you, I would like you guys to do, let us know down in the comments some of the items that you are not. What is the number one item that you are not buying at the grocery store right now? Um, and maybe an item that you will buy later if it kind of cools over, if the prices come down. I feel like most of these things 
of why we're not buying them at the stores anymore is because of the prices. The prices have gotten ridiculous. And we start talking about meats and produce. These are the highest prices out there, guys. And they keep going up. They keep going up. It just keeps getting more and more ridiculous. Okay, here's a note that I wrote down, but I'm going to go over the bonus one here that you guys all know that I do not like buying. Bagged shredded lettuce. Bagged lettuce. Now, I have bought... I'll, I'll buy the containers that are, like, uh, trusted. Even though they're trusted, okay, I still wash them as well. All the greens that I get, all the Earthbound Farm Organic, all the different greens, I always wash first. And I recommend that you do the same. However, I do not buy any kind of bagged lettuce at all. Let me, let me tell you, let me see. Does this sound familiar? You open up a bag of lettuce. It's not all the time, but it's got this real, like, chemical-y smell to it. Right, and we've had issues. We've had recalls in the past, not recently, but we've had recalls on bagged lettuce. And it's been a lot. It's been different things, different different things that it, why it's been recalled. We've had the Rizzo Lopez cheese recall, the packets that were in like different packets of Dole and all that. But that's that's irrelevant to me because I don't buy it anyway. Okay, I, I talk about it so that everybody is is safe on the channel here. Um, but I do not buy bagged lettuce at all. I stopped buying bagged lettuce years ago. I wouldn't take it for free. You know, I had mentioned this in a couple different videos. I saw one um, when I was at Aldi the other day. First of all, the price is ridiculous. Now, it's like nearly doubled over the last couple years, over the last year or so. Uh, well, a couple years. But it just doesn't even look good. I, I don't see how people, it's like brown and stuff. And it's like you can tell that they just got a bunch in. You can tell they just got a bunch in because there's there's none gone, right? They must sell or they wouldn't sell it. I don't know. Done with bagged lettuce. I will never buy it again. I will get heads of lettuce or fresh cut greens and, and do it myself. I will do it myself. And number one healthiest way to, to, to solve any of these problems is to grow it yourself. Grow it yourself. Um, and the note that I was talking about before, I had this listed over top of this. Uh, stop, stop. We're not buying many name brand items anymore. I feel like the items that have not been mostly affected or recalls or these kind of things or crazy price increases on things have mostly been like name brands. Now, we've seen where products at Kroger have gone up, but the quality of Kroger items, I still stand behind because... We buy a lot of Kroger items, um, different oats, different, uh, like I said before, Quaker, not Quaker. See, you always want to say Quaker oats. It's uh, Kroger Instant Oatmeal. Their granola bars are just fine, which I don't really buy these things much anymore. I'll tell you what, up until like the last few years, I was never really a person to buy like great value items. And you guys have really opened us up to a lot to trying some different products. That, that Walmart has to offer. A lot of the great value products, a lot of the different canned goods and stuff like that, we've grown to love. As a matter of fact, we stock up on a lot of these different items. Great value canned tomatoes, really good. Uh, the canned vegetables are good, but I do argue that it does seem like there's a lot more water in them these days. So you got to do a little shake. Make sure you get a good can. But anyway, that is our five items that we are avoiding at the grocery store right now. Those are our top five. There's many items that we're avoiding. Maybe non-food items, some other things. Maybe go over that in, a, in another coffee rant here at some point. But don't forget to let us know down below what are some of the products that you are avoiding. Make sure that you are uh, staying in tune with the channel as we are going to be covering more and more. We're covering all this stuff. Make sure everybody's in the know about everything. Going to the stores, checking out the best deals, trying to save us all as much money as possible as we live in a world now where that is very hard to do. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.